Alright, I hope it works better this time. Well, hi. If you're watching later, what's up? Today's the day of my birth. Uh, who sent this to me or did I, I send it to myself? I don't remember. Hello, we're back. Okay, is it working now? Sorry, we had a couple interruptions. My internet stopped working and then um, my, my sister dropped by, so and brought me some yummy stuff. <clears throat> Which I should probably actually go put in the fridge. What was I thinking? I should probably do that. The connection isn't great. Oh, it's probably because I'm sitting right here. I might have to just sit where we normally sit. I don't want to sit there. I want to sit here. I wonder if I brought it closer. What would happen? How about now? Is it still bad? How are we doing now? Hello? Thank you. Where's my phone? I need to be looking at the comments on my phone. I don't know where my phone is. Didn't I just have my phone? Did I take it downstairs with me? Probably. Whoops. It's okay at the moment. Okay, I forgot my phone. I'm so sorry. This is a mess. I know. I'll be right back. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. order excuse me or as much as they can be okay and that was too too small <laughs> I was not expecting it to be that loud One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten packages. <gasps> There's another one. Your drawing. Where where did I put that drawing? It's in my room. I know where it is. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And I haven't seen it yet, don't worry.
So, um, Libby actually sent me this a while ago. And I know it's a drawing, and Danny said that it was going to make me cry. So I was like, he actually said, you should wait and open it on your birthday live stream. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, hello. Yes, I'm here now. <sighs> okay. That is okay. You don't need to send anything, girl. Okay. So let's see. Ah! You're just gonna need to cooperate a little. No, it's pausing. No, is it pausing? Are we good? Okay, I'm not gonna move now. I'm not gonna move. Hopefully, it won't pause anymore. It's pausing, isn't it? We're good. It's pausing on my phone. No, what? No, we're not good. It's okay at the moment. It's fine for you. Okay. Well, Libby, I'm going to open yours first. So, uh, Libby sent this to me, um, a few weeks ago, I think. And Danny opened it because sometimes he opens my stuff and we both do it. I do the same thing. Open this, and he came into my room. He's like, "You should open this." And I'm like, "Well, I need to do it when Libby's watching." He's like, "Okay, but be sure you do it, and it's gonna make you cry." And I was like, "Why is it gonna make you cry?" He's like, "It just is. Trust me." So, um, he told me to save it for this live stream because he thought I would like it. Okay, it looks good. I'm just gonna try not moving at all. So. I'll try to not touch anything. Okay, so let's open this guy up. I'm excited, Libby. Danny already. <gasps> oh, there's a note on the back. This is my bird, Coco, that just died. Oh my gosh, you even did the rainbow in rainbow like order. I really appreciate that. Hey Shani, it's me, Libby from Instagram. I know this is a bit late, but I wanted to make you a drawing in memory of Coco Bird as a reminder that she is still alive. I need to put my microphone on, I forgot. Sorry, hold on. Um, this is a bit late, but I wanted to make a drawing in memory of Coco Bird as a reminder that she is still alive. Just not on earth, but she is still alive in bird paradise. I agree. That's so sweet. Like in my drawing. Oh, she's bird paradise. Oh, cute. And this up here says Coco. Lots of love from Libby. I hope you're still um, doing okay. Just remember that Coco still loves you and me and the fannies do too. Lots of love from Libby in England, XOXO. P.S. I found this feather and thought it must be a sign from Coco. I'm gonna cry for sure. I'm like welling up inside. This is so awesome. This means a lot to me. You know that, that's why you did it. <sighs> my heart, my heart. My heart is all the flutters of all of it. Thank you. Seriously, Libby, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna hang that up where I can always sing it. Pro probably in my bedroom, I'm gonna hang it up so I can always look at it. That's amazing, I love it. Thank you, and I need my microphone. But I don't know where it is. Great, of course. Hang on, give me one second. I think it's just right over here, I hope. That was so sweet, Libby. I 
just try and talk loud. I'm sorry. Um, Sorry, I'm tracing where I saw it last. Oh well, we might just have to, yeah. For those watching later, sorry. I know some people just like to turn these on and listen in the background while they do stuff, so sorry, that's okay. But this is more of a looking live stream anyway. Okay, let's move on. Yay, Libby, thank you so much. Okay, let's do, I'm just gonna pick random ones <clears throat> and I don't know who they're from, so I hope there's no inside. <clears throat> in the world to get is a brand new case of pens, paper, colored pencils, crayons, markers, anything like that is so pleasing to me. Thank you. And let's see who's this from. Uh, oh, it's from Steph. Since I can't send you a birthday card with a handwritten message in it, this is the next best thing. Just read it in a British accent or something. Happy birthday from Steph. You're so cute. I can't do a British accent. I'm thinking. Um, Aw, is this a mag? This is a magnet. Oh, and it also can stand up, up like a picture. That's cool. Thank you for being a blessing in my life. I want to take a moment and let you know how much you are appreciated. You are a true angel to me, and I'm more grateful to you than words can ex express. Few people possess the considerate, unselfish, loving heart that you have, and even fewer are willing to give so much of themselves. I thank you for your kindness and for being the wonderful, amazing person you are. I know I am blessed to have you in my life. Are all of these just gonna make me cry, guys? Oh my gosh. Wait, stop what? Was I not supposed to open that? Sorry, I'm not even paying attention. I'm not paying attention. Sorry, but thank you. Thank you, Steph. Oh, I love it. Yeah, what the? What are you talking about? Are there rules to opening your presents? Don't read the one for the crayons? Was there one for the crayons? What are you talking about? Hold on. Oh, gotcha. Oh, I see it. I didn't see that before. Why can't I read that? That's hilarious. Why can't I read that? Come on. What are you talking about? Maybe you're talking about something else. I don't know. Okay, let's move on. And by the way, Steph sent me this, our very first Shanny Fanny ornament for the Christmas tree. Technically, this is, Lauren sent me this a while back for something else, but this is gonna go on the tree, this is her contribution. So, so far, look guys, we have two, it says Christmas, the one where we were quarantined, 2020, and the 2020 is wearing little masks. How cute is that? Oh, I read it after, oh, sorry. What did it even, I don't remember what was embarrassing about it, I'm sorry. In British accent. I don't understand what's happening. I don't understand what's happening. I'm gonna move on. Okay. Okay. Um, only because I have dinner with my family. Well, not for a couple hours. So I gotta get ready and stuff. Okay. Here's another one. Okay, I'm gonna read the note first this time before I read it out loud, just in case. And this is from Steph again. Do you want me to read this? I'm so confused. Am I not allowed to read these out loud? Out loud? When? What do I not read out loud? And when? And why? And how? Which ones? I don't know which ones you want me to read out loud. Okay, I can read it all now. Okay. She said, "I feel like this just sums you up perfectly." Also, thought you could put it in the background of your videos since there will always be someone who needs a reminder. Happy birthday from Steph. Oh, I love that. This is beautiful. You better, you best believe you it's going to go right there under that thing that Danny made me. You best believe it. Or maybe even up there where they can see my, when I do my live streams every night. I'll figure it out. But thank you. This is gorgeous. I love the style. Look at the cute feathers. Are you kidding? I love those colors together. <gasps> You're so, you guys are, they're just so sweet. Thank you, 
stuff. My goodness. Okay. This is very soft. notes are like sticking oh my gosh they like suck the notes to it okay oh it's from Steph again I wanted to get you I wanted to get you rainbow poop glasses but I couldn't find any so hopefully this is the next best thing oh well happy birthday from Steph Thanks, girl. I'm excited. <laughs> what where did you find this are you kidding Stop right now. <sighs> this is the greatest gift I've ever received in my life. <laughs> Rainbow shithead, pretty much. That's so cool stuff. I would keep it on, but I'm really hot right now. <sighs> oh my gosh, that's amazing. That is so funny. This is brilliant. Oh my gosh, I love it. I'm gonna wear this all the time. I'm gonna wear this in public. You think I won't wear this in public? I will, and not even for like Halloween, I will absolutely wear this in public just on a normal Thursday. Thank you, Steph. Okay, let's do, ooh, this one's from Casey. Is Casey here? Casey, are you here, my dear? Where are you, where are you? Casey, if you're here, speak up. While while she's while while that's happening, let's do a different one. Um, oh, this is a white package. You don't think she's here? LED nightlight. <gasps> you guys know me so. Who is this from? Oh, it's from Casey. Duh. Oh, no, it's not. The other one is. Who's this from? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, this is from Jesse. Jesse, are you here? I think you are. Yay. It says, oh, it doesn't say anything else. But look, <gasps> an LED nightlight watermelon. Are you kidding? Wait, what's the thing next to it? What is that? Hold on, let's just open this. It's a watermelon that lights up. Like, this is the best birthday presents I've ever, oh, it's huge, nice, this is amazing, this is incredible, oh my gosh, I love this so much, this is incredible, it doesn't have batteries, but I'll put batteries in, this is incredible, are you joking, <gasps> now I can have watermelon all year round, see, you know me, and I love you, thank you, that's awesome, thank you so much. Oh, you guys are so nice. Okay. <clears throat> Ooh, I see a coloring book. Yay! Oh, cute, the poop emoji. <gasps> Look at the mermaid. Oh my gosh. Do you know what? I used to have a poop emoji one, but I did not have, or an emoji one, but not a poop emoji one. I used to have just the emoji, so there was like maybe one or two poops in it. This is incredible. Are you kidding me? I'm guessing it's from Steph. Yep. I don't know if you enjoy coloring. I do. Thank you. But I thought it could be a lighthearted distraction. Happy birthday. Thank you. Oh, I love it. That's so cool. I like the little, I like the little poop mermaid and, and the poop rock band star person. Cute. And of course this. I love them all. Oh, that's me. <gasps> that one's me for sure. Oh my gosh. That's so cool. Thank you. Thank you, Steph. Oh, where do I even put all this stuff? These are so sweet. Did Casey show up? Mm, she probably can't make it. She, it's it's a weird time of day for her in treatment, so I'm gonna open it. She'll see it later. This one, I need scissors. That's why we weren't supposed to read the cribs. Oh, okay, so now the note makes sense. I get it now. Okay, I got it. Oh, hold on, I'm gonna reread the note now that I've opened the book. Since I can't send you a birthday card with the handwritten message in it, 
This is the next best thing. Just read it in a British accent. Is that the one you're talking about? Or is it the other one? Oh, no, this one. For coloring your poops. Happy birthday, Runestone. Oh, you're sweet. Aw, oh, Casey. I hope she's doing okay today. Casey, if you're watching later, I love you. Thank you for whatever this is. Ugh. How dare you send me Vegemite? Are you kidding? Is this a joke? I'm just kidding. I hate this stuff. Didn't you remember when Gigi sent me this and I hated it? Aw. Wait, maybe there's a note. Maybe I should read the note. Now I feel bad. Listen, I will say... That last time I tried it, people were like, well, you're not doing it right. You have to eat it like this, or you have to eat it on toast, or whatever. Now I'm going to feel bad if she's, like, serious about this. Maybe she didn't know that I hated it. I'm sorry. Casey, I love it. These are my favorite. Thank you so much. I look forward to this so hard. I can smell it already. It smells like dog food, and I'm just, like, so I just love it. Thank you. This is my favorite. I'm so happy. Thank you. You know what? It does have a lot of B vitamins in it, which I need, so... In 10 happy little portions. Thank you. I love it. So hard. So good. I love that stuff. Okay, she didn't say anything about the Vegemite. Hold on, I just want to find that. Oh, she wrote a letter to Danny. <gasps> How cute is that? Good thing I didn't open that one on accident. Shani, whilst being impatient, I've been making lots of diamond arts. Oh, I love her diamond arts. And doing a lot of coloring. So I decided to send you some, hopefully make you smile. I made the bird in memory of Coco. Oh, you have another bird one. Um, I don't know if you've tried Vegemite. I have it so good. It's my favorite. <clears throat> Don't know if you've tried Vegemite, but I'm sending you some in case you haven't. I find it disgusting. <gasps> you, you, you sent me something that you think is disgusting? Oh my gosh, but I'm sending you some in case you haven't. I find it disgusting, but a lot of people love it. Tip, do not eat it by itself. Eat it on something with butter. I wanted to say again, thank you so much for all your support over the years. You have come so far and I'm so very proud of you. I know you're going through a lot at the moment. Please always remember how strong you are, even in the days when you feel like giving up. I see so much strength in you. I'm gonna cry. I see so much strength in you. Um, I know you can get through it no matter what. I will always be here for you, cheering you on through this crazy roller coaster of life. You are worthy, you are needed, you are loved, you are important. You deserve all of the happiness in the world. I wish I could give it to you. I wish I could take away all the heartache and the pain, but I know you are strong enough to win this fight. I need you, Danny needs you, your birds need you, your family and friends need you, the community needs you, your two little angel babies would want their mom to live the best life the best life you can for them. Um, I want to be able to hug you one. I, I want to be able to hug you one day and tell you all of this in person. You got this. I believe in you. It's going to be okay. Maybe not right now, but one day. I love you, big sis. Always and forever. If you ever need me, I will always be here. Lots of love from Casey. Thank you. Hey, sweet. What is this? 
more Vegemite? What is this? What is this? What do I do with this? Do I, is that a cracker? Vegemite cheese flavored? Let, let's, let's look at her drawings she made first and then I'll try those. That way, hopefully one of you can tell me what it is. I love her diamond art that she, oh, it's beautiful in memory of Coco. That's gorgeous. Look how sparkly, you can't tell how sparkly it is because it's natural light in here because if the sun is out. The sun is bright today. Every birthday, not everyone, most birthdays this, on my birthday, the sun is out being like mocking me being like, ooh. I hate this one. Anyway, that's amazing. No, it's diamond art. I don't remember how to, I don't know how to do it. I've seen it. I've seen like ads about it, but I don't know exactly how to do it. Casey, when you're watching later, put it in the comments how to do it. That's beautiful. I really love that. That must have taken forever. <gasps> Look at all the colorings. Oh, it's beautiful. You're so good at coloring. So vibrant. I love vibrant. You know I love vibrant things. <gasps> Look, here's a little bit of Australia. Aww. That's so sweet. <gasps> you are beautiful. You are worth it. And I am too. Lots of love from Casey. Oh, oh, that's gorgeous. Look at it. You're so good at coloring, dude. I love this. Look at the birds. I tried to represent. I tried to represent lemon and berry. Oh, I love it. Yeah, totally. I'm going to hang this above their cage, actually. And then, oh, of course, <laughs> this is a rant. This is random, but I found it funny, so hopefully it makes you smile. Love you forever and always, Casey. Holy shit. <laughs> you guys know me well. Okay, should I try these? Are they gross? Does anybody know what these are? I'm gonna be pissed at her if these are gross. Are these gross, Casey? Do you also hate these and you also sent me something else that you hate on my birthday? I'm scared. What if it burns? What do you mean try them? That makes me think that you, nobody is saying, oh, they're good. Everyone's just like, oh, try them. It makes me think you're like tricking me into trying them. Maybe cheese will make them better. Scared. What is this? Are they crackers? I don't even want to smell that. I'm really scared how it's going to smell. It literally smells like dog food. I love you, Casey, but what do I do? I'm not going to eat this. It literally feels like, smells like dog food. I don't know what to do. I can't do this. honest <laughs> they're terrible but for a minute they're okay you put it in your mouth you taste the dog food first and then once you crunch the cracker you start to get a little bit of like a cheese it cracker taste like a cheesy cracker taste and then you finish it and it ends with an aftertaste of dog food so it's really good I love it thank you I'm gonna eat all, all of it no, it does not taste better than it smells. <laughs> it does for a second when you very first crunch into it. Like, I feel like I just ate dog food. That's what my mouth feels like. <laughs> this reminds me of when, 
when Darcy sent me a freaking 12 pack of canned mushrooms because I was saying that if you ever send me canned mushrooms, I hate you forever. And she sent me a big, huge, like Costco size 12 pack of canned mushrooms. I feel like Casey might be trolling, but I can't tell for sure. Well, now my fingers smell like dog food. I need to eat something else to cover this because it's like, okay. it's so good. Thank you, Casey, so much. I'm so excited for the foods. I do love the, the drawings and the letter and the, and the sweet um, diamond art. I really, really do love them. And I really appreciate that you thought that I would maybe appreciate Vegemite or Vegemite crackers. And so I appreciate the thought. Your thought is your 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 the thought is appreciated and you're loved and thank you so good okay next okay we have another amazon box y'all oh i really need to hold on i really need to cover this with something else So good that I have to cover it up because Swedish fish fix everything. Not that the Vegemite chips were not good. Ooh, this one comes in a fancy bag. Fancy bag. That's beautiful. Is there a note? How does it work? Alex. This is from Alex. Is Alex here? Alex, my dear, speak up if you're here. Hi, Shani. I wanted to send you this early birthday gift, and I hope you like it. And thank you for being there for all of us. And I hope you have a good birthday from Alex. Thank you, Alex. I love you. I'm excited. What's this? Do I need to? Oh, order. Oh, it's like a return envelope. Okay. <gasps> okay, I have a story. Today, I bought my, I got a new phone case in the mail that I ordered and I ordered the wrong size. So I'm like super bummed about it because I can only use this one for, I don't know, but now I might switch it to this one for the rest of October, maybe even this is so me. This is perfect. The right size and everything. Here, I'll show you. Oh my gosh, this is unbelievably beautiful. This is the prettiest phone case I've ever seen. I'm not just saying this. Let me shake it up. How gorgeous is this? I'll probably use it in the spring, maybe in, maybe in the winter too. This 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 can be wintry. I'll put like a snowman. This is so beautiful. Thank you, Alex, so so much. I don't know if you're here. I don't think you are, but thank you. That's really really sweet of you. Maybe I'll make a new thumbnail with this in it so she can so she watches it because she might not watch me very often. I'm not sure. But thank you, Alex. I love you, and I don't know which Alex you are, so tell me which Alex you are. Okay. Let's see. Okay, we have two left, y'all. Here we go. You guys are so, so nice. Look at your comments and ooh, it's a book. Wait, what? I don't get it. Hold on. Where's that? Where's that? Where's that? This is from Carrie. Okay, are you here, Carrie? Happy early birthday, Shani. This book reminds us of you in so many ways. The author believes sensitivity is a superpower, for instance. That's cool. <gasps> um, sensitivity is a superpower. Love you and all that you are, Carrie and Geo. Loyal followers since day one from Carrie Hoff Hoffmeyer. I love you. Didn't I go to school with you? Are you that Carrie? Hold on, I need to look this up. I'm pretty sure I went to school with her. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 
I know it is. I just don't remember her married name. Oh, Carrie. Harry Hoffheimer? Maybe that's not her. Cause, oh wait. Are you combining with me? One second, hold on. Okay, I'm not finding her. But I wonder if it's the Carrie I went to high school with. Well, thank you, Carrie. I love it. One second. <clears throat> Hi, guys. It's my birthday, and I'm doing a live stream on YouTube, so come and join Educating Shani on YouTube. Okay, goodbye. Okay. Okay, now I want to look at this book. Okay. Over 1 million copies sold Ultimate Brown Doyle. Untamed, to liberate women. Oh, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a, um, like a, oh. untamed will liberate women emotionally, spiritually, and physically. I believe Glennon was born to write this book just this way and just this moment in history. It's phenomenal. I'm excited. I'm very excited to find out what this is about. Well, thank you so much. I love it. Thank you, Carrie. And who's the other one? Glenn? Wait, what was the other name? Geo, not Glenn. Thank you, thank you, Carrie and Gio. Thank you so much. I love it. It's amazing in all the favorites and places. All right, last one, and then I'll look at you guys. I'll, pay, I'll give you some attention, I promise. Hey. That's so, that's so thoughtful. Ooh, another cool bag. This one's one from Jesse. From one queen fan to another. Oh, what's gonna happen? Jesse, are you still here? I hope. Okay, how do you open this? Ooh, one queen fan to another. Wait, is she still here? Are you still here, Jesse? Yeah, there you are. Okay. Oh, there's a couple things. Does it matter which one that I should open first? Does it matter? Amazon.com is very grateful I was born, I know. Thanks, Amazon. Appreciate it. Not sponsored, not ad, but cool. Does it matter, Jess? Should we just open both of them? What? I don't even know what that means. Okay, well, I guess I'll open the little one first. Because you're not answering, so. Oh, the small one is the queen one. Okay. I'm very excited. Music box? Is this a music box? Are you kidding? Look how pretty. Look at it. Why can't I find what song it is? Hold on. Am I going too fast? Wait. Why can't I find the tune? Slower? Like how slow?
Is this too slow now? I know, right? How? That's what I was about to say. How? How do people make these? How, like, the design must have taken forever. And this is just gorgeous. Look at the carvings. And oh, it opens. Oh. oh, look. I love seeing these, actually. Hold on. This is going to be even better. I like watching how it works. Oh, and it says queen. I didn't even notice. That's so cool. So cool. Thank you. I love that. I can't wait to show Danny all of this stuff. He's going to love it too. Okay, last one. Here we go. From Jesse. You guys are so, thank you seriously for doing this. You've made my lonely birthday really wonderful. What is this? You got me wood. Thank you. I love wood. For the birds. I was like, wait, what do I do? What is it? Oh, is it like a perch? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on, hold on. Oh, I think it's like a perchy thing. Is there instructions or anything? Thank you for giving me wood. I love when you give me wood. What do I do? Screw it on? Let's screw the wood real quick and figure this out because it smells incredible. Okay, I don't know if I've ever told you guys this, but my dad, <coughs> my dad is a carpenter, was a carpenter, and my best memories with him actually. Oh, I see, okay, so it will look like this. This is what it will look like. Oh, this is perfect actually, because now they can come in here with me while I do my live streams. Is that why you did it? Because I'm always like trying to perch them onto something so you guys can see it on the video. This is perfect. That's amazing. Thank you. Thank you so much. You guys are just, you spoiled me rotten of all of the spoils of the times and places. I really, 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 really appreciate everything. Thank you so, so much. Wow. You guys are the best. That is why you see me, you know me. That's awesome. Ugh. Yay! That was so fun, guys. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. So, is it working? Looks like it's pausing again. No, we're good. I think we're good, right? Yeah, I think we're good. You guys, well, thank you. That was so fun. Am I shocked about what? Wait, what? What did I miss? You know, Danny's gonna get jealous. Oh yeah, that someone else gave me wood. Nobody tell him. It'll be our little secret. Or when he gets home, I'll give him the wood so he can build it and screw it in. He, I'll give him the wood He'll screw it in, and then the birds will sit on it. I 
I should never have been born. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> yeah, that would very that would hurt very, very much to put that in there. Oh, so my dad <laughs> I shouldn't be allowed to speak. Okay, I was gonna say that those were my happiest memories. My dad was a carpenter, so every time he would walk into our garage, it would smell like sawdust, and that's what this smells like. And it makes me happy because that's one of the few very happy memories that I have with my dad, so I just love the smell of it, so. Thank you for sending me wood. Thank you for sending me drawings and really delicious Vegemite, Casey. And thank you for the drawing, what else? The book and the phone case and the and the watermelon and the sign and the coloring pencils with the poop emoji book and the freaking, and the freaking music box. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate it. Am I the only one? Does anyone else here love the smell of sawdust? Anybody? Danny does. I know Danny does too. But uh, he would, of course. Oh, and the poop hat, of course. That's, 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 I cannot, you know what? When Danny comes home, I'm going to be wearing that hat and only that hat. Do you think that will look sexy? Maybe I'll put like poo pasties on my boobies or something. Yeah, nobody, t nobody tell Danny about any of this. It's a secret. And he will not watch this. He doesn't even watch my videos. I'm doing it. Anything naked he would love, let's be real. Oh yeah, that too. The, the bedding stuff for Oh, you had horses. I was going to say for hamsters because I grew up with hamsters and that also had the same smell. But sawdust. Wait, horses sleep on sawdust? Like really fine sawdust or like wood pieces? You're fine, Allie. I'm so excited. I'm really excited to put my tree up. I think I'm going to put it up a little sooner. I don't know what to do. I usually wait, lately I've been waiting like mid-November, which is a long time for me. Like, I've always decorated November 1st, but this year I'm just excited. On the other hand, I just decked out my office and it took a total of probably five hours and I don't want it to just go to waste, so I'm trying to use it and use the backgrounds that did all the different angles of backgrounds that I made in this thing. Someone commented when I posted the picture on Instagram, they're like, subtle. <laughs> I was like, I know. That's the life of a YouTuber. No, that's the life of Shani as a YouTuber. Shani loves clutter, lots of color, over decorating. It's just my style. And also I just like to make cute backgrounds. So can we please give me a round of applause? Cause those freaking curtain lights, they look simple. They're not. And I did that one, that one, and that one. Doubles on all three. And it was a pain in the butt. So, but those will stay up all year round. So that's fun. Nobody asked, you're welcome. You have a creep here? Awesome, I love creeps. What did he say? I wanna know what he said. Um, if I'm not back again this time tomorrow. Um, Not a normal tree, just put shiny vaginas in butts. <laughs> Are some of you gonna send me a vagina? You're gonna. Don't do it. Actually, yeah, do it for sure. Somebody please send me a vagina ornament, please. And then also a butt one. A little butt. Because <laughs> you're either my butts or my vaginas, so. He said he likes your nerdy, sexy look and wanted you to stand up. Oh. Thanks. I'll ask my husband and I'll let you know.
No, I've said it. Dang it. You are a proud vagina. That's accurate. For those that don't know what we're talking about, fanny in America means butt. So I didn't think it was that big of a deal when you guys started calling yourself shanty fannies. And then someone at one point was like, did you know that in other countries that means vagina? And I was like, no, <laughs> but I'm glad. So you're either my shanty butts or my shanty vaginas. Can we talk about my pimple, by the way? So it started to come out last night. It's very painful. And you can see how big it is when I put my face straight. Watch this. Do you see how swollen? <laughs> That's how big it is. And I can feel it under there. And it is so painful. I just love that, like, my chin is... completely swollen right there. Isn't that great? I did not pop it because it's not ready yet. Hopefully it'll be ready tonight. That'll that would be a great birthday present because I never get to pop zits. I'm a weirdo who gets grateful when I get zits because I like popping zits. I'm not a What's over sexual? Thank you. That means a lot to me, Bethany. That you've never that you never comment, but yet you did right now. That means a lot to me. Thank you. I really appreciate that. A lot of a lot of people don't comment, and that's okay. But I always love it when someone speaks up and is like, "Hey, I never comment, but dot dot dot." I mean, just think that's awesome. So thank you for commenting. Literally, there's been so much worse. That that one's not bad at all. Best ones is when they like force ask me to take out my teeth. Like, take out your teeth. That's what they do. They'll go, take out your teeth. Or dentures. Let me see your dentures. Take out your dentures. Now, take out your teeth. And I'm like, who are what do you think this is? This is YouTube. Even if I was a pornographist, pornographer, porno, pornographist, pornographer pornographer is what's the pornographer is the one that takes the pictures right so the porn I'm not a porn star this is YouTube so I don't understand what they're looking for plus I'm a 36 year old woman sitting in my office looking like a 13 year old so you're gross go away <sighs> Yeah, we've had way worse around here. And some, and honestly, they make me laugh. I shouldn't say that because now it's going to egg people on, but it makes me laugh. Seriously. It makes me laugh. Usually. And then if they keep coming back, we usually just block them, but it doesn't look like he's coming back, so that's good. Too flirty. She's taken. Yay! Thanks, Tina. Okay, if I missed any comment that you wanted me to see, go ahead and send it now, because now I'm actually reading comments. So and while you do that, I'm gonna go get a snack real quick. We're eating in a couple hours, but I just need like a little snack or something. So I'll be right back. I don't wanna pass out on my birthday. No, she wasn't feeling well today and neither was I. So I just went to the PO box and um, I'm almost out of pickle juice. And um, grocery store for a couple things. And then I came home and did this. Um,
that she's going to take me on Wednesday. She's been through a lot lately, so. She, like, she texted me late last night. She's like, okay, we just got home from our trip, so do you want to go shopping and go to lunch tomorrow? And I was like, mom, you just recently had surgery. You've been doing a lot for all of the kids in the family, all of her kids and grandkids. You just got home from a trip. You're already really not doing well physically. I was like, I need you to rest. That's what you can do for my birthday is you can rest. So she's resting, but they're me in a little bit to go to dinner, which will be awesome. We're going to my favorite place. Oh, that's one of the Shani. The drawing I did distracted me from self-harm. It took a whole night to do. I'm so proud of you and grateful, but really, really proud that you did that, that you used that. You know what I mean? That you, that's exactly what you should be doing. That's exactly the best thing that you can do for self-harm and stuff. Um, we are going to eat at Bonsai, which is my favorite restaurant. I like teppanyaki too, it's the same thing pretty much. Um, but it's the Japanese place where they cook in front of you. They do like teriyaki stuff. It's my absolute favorite. So I plan to get the chicken teriyaki with fried rice. And that'll last me a couple days too, which is awesome. So I don't have to cook for myself for a couple days, maybe even three. Um, and then I really like their tempura vegetables. That's where we're going. Hibachi, that's what it's called, thank you. Hello, white peeps, hey, <laughs> what? Um, you didn't purchase it, yay! Is that your present to me? Can I request that you don't do it tomorrow either? It's for my birthday. Just try, just try. If you can't, that's okay, but try. I bet you can do two days in a row. I know it. Yes, you are sweet. Oh my gosh. Beauty has the biggest heart that I've probably ever met. One of, one of the biggest hearts that I've ever met. She's just sometimes a brat and doesn't like to show it. So sometimes you have to dig it out of her, but she has the biggest, most caring heart ever. I adore her. I adore all of you. Um, it's live. Hey. Oh, you haven't been doing it for one and a half weeks? Did I know this, Harley? Sorry if I forgot. That's wonderful. I'm very, very proud of you. That's wonderful. I'm so sorry I forgot. No, you're not. Look, you're going through it, Dee, and that's okay. You're allowed to be bitter, and you're allowed to process your own stuff that's going on right now. You've got a lot going on inside, and plus there's a lot going on in the world. Give yourself a break. Seriously, give yourself a break. Even if you are bitter right now, even if you're a bitch 24-7, that doesn't mean that you're that you're a bitch in general it just means you're going through a hard time and you're not even a bitch you're just like eh. but you're actually you're a sweetheart i didn't know you wanted to surprise me is this my birthday present that's really good news are you kidding i'm proud of you little bro Wonderful. Wonderful. Um, I've not seen Sierra in ages. She looks so much like your brother-in-law. She really does. Yeah, she does. Lexi, well, yeah, Lexi looks more like Angela and Sierra looks more like Sean. Yeah, I think you're right. I see that. I love those girls. I love all my nieces and nephews. I wish I could see all of my nieces and nephews today. Like, that would be the best birthday ever if I could have every niece and nephew, every grand... I only have one grandparent left. Um, my parents, like, if I could have my entire family in one... Zach? Oh. 
I'll be back now. I think we're back. Are we good? Anyway, I forgot what I was saying. Are we good now? Is it still shaky? Not really good or not really bad? You see me, is it shaky? Is it going in and out or anything? You're good, better now? Okay. I'm gonna stop touching it again and see if that helps. It's bad for you stuff, really? Maybe it's because everyone else is saying it's good. <laughs> when I was little, I would make a video and then pause it at random times and, and just laugh at myself. Weenie, we are long lost twins because I did the same thing. This reminds me so much. I love you. That's adorable. This reminds me so much. My brother and I, when I was in high school, it was before he left for his mission for a church. Um, <clears throat> he and I were best friends. We hung out every night and there were several nights <laughs> we would stay up until four in the morning eating mac and cheese watching friends and then we would also like set up the video camera to face the couch where we were sitting and my brother would just be there playing his guitar and I'd be singing or talking or doing nothing and we would hook the VC the camera up to the TV so we could watch ourselves while we were filming ourselves <laughs> like we just kept watching ourselves and laughing at ourselves <laughs> for hours this would go on for hours like all through the night we would have to take breaks to go get mac and cheese or brownies or whatever and so we were really cool in high school <laughs> anyway thanks taylor i'm having a great birthday actually i went to the grocery store my new obsession is these grapes that i found and they're just the most amazing grapes in the world and they're really expensive and, and it's worth it to me because if I can find something that I like surprisingly almost as well as watermelon, that's how good they are, then that's going to be my fruit until watermelon season again. So sounds like good old times. I know we have, oh, I wonder if I could find those videos sometime or somewhere because I'm pretty sure we would just... I don't know. My brother was so weird. We were both so weird. Like there was this one time where we all went to Disney World right after um, my mom got remarried. Rob took us to Disney World and I was sharing a hotel room with my stepsisters and my brother and my brother's friend that came. And oh my gosh, my brother just posted on my timeline and I'm talking about him. I just got a notification. That's creepy. Can someone set an alarm for me, by the way? Because I have to go at a certain time to get ready. Oh my gosh, that's so weird. Anyway, we were in the hotel and like, we would turn out the lights, go to bed, and we're all laying in our different beds. <laughs> Mike, I don't know why, he just would be like, okay, because he doesn't really sing or anything, but he's like, hey guys, harmonize with me. And he would just go, uh... And then I would go, ah, and Julia would go, ah, and Liz would go, ah, and so we would like harmonize and we just would hold it all night while we were doing, uh, and if we didn't want to do it, like if we were too tired, he would just do that. He just would be like, ah, until we start singing. It was so, he's so weird. I love him. That's creepy that he just messaged me. That's so weird because I rarely talk about him on here. And that's really weird. Anyway, he's wonderful. A lot of good times with my brother. I feel lucky. I have a really good brother. He's very protective. He cares a lot. We don't really talk. We don't talk. I think I've told you this before. We don't really talk to each other a lot. Um, but we don't have to. We kind of just know what each other is saying or thinking. I don't know how to explain it. It's cool though. 
I do have you, and I have my other little brother too. But my, he's my big brother. He's my only big brother. I have a half brother, Ammon, who's adorable. And who I need to see more often, but I don't. Why, what happened to your family? At first I'll pray, but what happened? Do I have a lot of siblings? Yes. Okay. I have blood siblings, okay? I have... Do you want total? Here, let me give you total first. Hold on while she's telling me what's wrong. Um, hundreds. <laughs> Accurate. Okay, so there's... Angela, Sean... What am I doing? Counting siblings. Angela, Sean, Michelle, Dan, Mike, Laura, Liz, Matt, Julie... Josh, Eric, Gretchen, um, Aaron, Kendall, Anne, Jenny, Derek, Maggie. Oh, and Ammon. Did I put Ammon in there already? I think I did. Maybe I didn't. So 19? Wait, or 9? Wait, I, was anybody counting? I wasn't counting right. Was it not? Is this 9 or 19? I think it's 19. Is that right? Yeah. So I have three full blood siblings, Angela, Michelle, Michael, and then I have a half blood sibling, uh, Ammon, and then all of my siblings are married. So they're all my siblings now. And then Danny has, he's the oldest of six siblings. And so there's, um, and most of his siblings are married. So I have a lot of siblings. Yes but my original siblings. I grew up being the youngest of four, and then my mom got remarried, and then my younger brother was also born around that time. So I have a lot, a lot of family members. I know you sang for me and I loved it. And I, and I wish you would just show your face and do it more often, but I know it's scary. But I would love if you did that more. Grandma used to be a Mormon and she was from Salt Lake City. Awesome. Most people in Utah are not Salt Lake City, surprisingly. Salt Lake City is actually the least Mormon y area in Utah these days. Maybe it wasn't back then. Who's going out for my meal? So it will be my parents and Angela and Sean, their girls, Liz and Matt. And Julie, I don't know if Josh is coming, but Julie's coming. I'm very excited. She's going to meet. That's one of the reasons we're going to Bonsai, so that she can, like, meet us halfway. Because she's, like, well, it's not halfway, but she's, like, four hours up north or three hours or something like that. No. I think she's, like, three hours up north. I don't know. Maybe even two. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. She's two hours up north, and where we're going is, like, 45 minutes north of this, so... She got a babysitter. That's all I know. I don't know if Josh is coming. I hope Josh is coming. He's the doctor that I always talk about, and we don't get to see him very often. He's always, he's, he's just started his first, like, he just finished med school, and now they moved back here. Now he started his forever job, and he's incredible, and I'm so proud of him, and, um, but because he's, like, the new doctor, I guess that's just what happens. The new doctors are always on, have to be the ones that are always on call, so he has to stick around his area. Uh, so I not on call then he's probably coming I hope don't get me wrong but it will be a little bit more we can like talk a little more than we would if little kids were there you know I don't know um, I'm trying to see if I can like tell you birthday stuff I'm sure I've told you guys these already but let's talk about them more Growing up, my mom was amazing, um, and she would go all out for her birthday parties every year. And one of my favorite years is that my dad carved wooden pumpkins, and we painted them. Like, she set up this party with, like, a whole bunch of 
activities and we didn't have a lot of money so she was really good at finding cheap ways to make games and stuff so um so she had my dad carve us some you know flat pumpkins that you can like hang on the wall type of thing like this like that you know except a pumpkin shape and we painted the pumpkins I remember she did a game with salting crackers which are like a dollar for a box back then it's probably even cheaper and then bubble gum um and the challenge was like eat three saltines without any liquid and then try and blow a bubble with gum or something like that I remember playing a lot of Red Rover and like outside games that I don't know she always would go all out and just would make my favorite cake and decorate it so beautifully and she always every year that I was in school she would show up at my school at some point in the day with balloons and treats for my class so I always looked forward to that that was my favorite part of the day is I would be sitting in school and being like, when is she going to come? When is she going to come? Is it going to be in the morning? Is it going to be after lunch? What's it going to be? And where is she coming? But she always comes and just brings balloons and treats. And my sisters even have come a couple times when I was little. Um, yeah, so my mom really went all out. Like, that's why I'm really into birthdays. And I go all out on for birthdays, too, just because that's how I grew up. And it's a big deal if it's your birthday in our family. And you basically get treated like royalty, which is amazing. <laughs> um, they always treat me kindly, though. But anyway, I'm trying to think of what else I could tell you. Does anyone have any questions? Ask me some questions about birthdays or something. Um, I'm trying to think. She did so many fun things. I shared, I very often shared a birthday. You know what we could do? Duh, I forgot. I found some pictures, a bunch of pictures from my childhood. We could look at them at random and see what the story is behind it. Would that be entertaining to anybody? Probably not. It would be to me though. Your birthday matters to me, Steph. You matter to me. <laughs> what time is it? Four. Um, I should probably go get ready. I mean, I'm pretty much ready. So, I don't know. 4.45 maybe? Yeah, set an alarm for 40 minutes from now. And that will be like our warning alarm. And then I'll have to go in five minutes after that. Does that work? Okay, I'm gonna grab just random ones. I don't know which ones I'm gonna grab. I literally have a whole drawer full of childhood photos and teenage stuff too and all kinds of stuff. Okay, we'll start with this pile. Okay, this is fun. Why don't we do this more often, actually? Because it's cool, because every picture has a story behind it. Okay, so this was our engagement photo. This is what we sent out in the invitations. Look at those babies. Aw, look at the babies. Look at Danny with his frosted tits. Are you kidding? <laughs> and by the way, I have like hundreds of these left. And I'm thinking about sending them out to somebody. <laughs> like if you, maybe if you send me a card, I'll send you one of these or something. Like use it so they don't have to pay for like headshots. Because <laughs> I literally have hundreds of these. I don't know what to do with them. Anyway, moving on. Okay, um, these are picture, I, see, these all have stories. These are pictures that I took when I wanted to be a photographer. Did I ever even tell you that? I wanted to be a photographer and these were taken with a camera that I got for Christmas maybe, I don't remember. Um, and I later sold the camera because we needed the money and, but that's okay because um, 
I loved it, but it wasn't like quite my jam, you know? It was there, but not quite enough. Okay. Um. Oh, these are, wait, this is so smart of me. Thank you, me. The, there's so many stories in these pictures. Oh my gosh. Okay. So it's kind of dark, but so in elementary school, I am right there. That's me. And this was the Christmas concert. And as you can see, half of the people are going like this. Here's why. Um, my siblings grew up in like, they w they got into like the fanciest choir in high school, and which I later got into, so, but anyway. Um, and they did this thing every, this song every Christmas where they would act out the 12 days of Christmas. So there's a part where the, person standing behind you with when it's eight eight maids and milking they go like this and then you milk their thumbs so that is what's happening right there that is eight maids and milking it's that part of the song so I miss choir I was a choir nerd for sure that's I don't know who that is um, look at Danny again oh cute <gasps> This is cute. I'm going to put this somewhere. My little baby. This is on our wedding day. And he's dancing with his mom. But it looks like a close-up of him. Aww, baby. He's a little baby. <laughs> okay. We have more sunset photos. Nobody cares about that. Okay. Um, this is when we went to Yellowstone right after my mom got remarried, and that's, uh, my mom obviously lives in Julie and me. Went to Yellowstone. I think it was my first time at Yellowstone. Oh, I thought I looked so cool in that jacket. I, I did back then. That was in style, so I wore it proudly. So there's that. Um, Again, I'm the tallest, biggest kid in the class, as always, but I'm right there in the middle, okay? And this was a dance for, what did they call it? It was like a spring festival or something like that, where parents would come and sit on the big hill, that's right, there is where they're sitting, on this huge hill, and each grade in school would do like, like a performance of some sort, like a dance. So I think we were doing like a country-ish one. Um, you can't really see me clearly, but you can very much see me because I'm the biggest, tallest one in the group. So story of my life. It was really fun for me. I love that. I don't know why it's so blurry. I don't know why it's not showing up for you. I'm not good at this. Aw, wedding day. I'm like shaking. Why am I shaking? This is when... This is when, well, it's up one of the canyons. It was the kind of thing, like I was telling you guys the other day, the kind of thing we would do uh, is we would drive up the mountains to look at the beautiful leaves. So this is a ski lift, and I think it's the one at Alpine, which is where, like, all the famous people come to ski. Um, but, yeah, there's me with my crooked front tooth. You can't really tell, but it is. One of my front tooth would overlap the other one. This is me and two of my favorite cousins. This is Melinda. I was actually talking about her last night. And this is Caitlin. In a good way, Melinda, if you're watching. Like, I was just saying how much I love you. And that's Caitlin. I adore her. You guys have seen her a couple times in my vlogs. Um, but yeah, that's on a swing that was there for as long as I can remember that my uncle built. Okay, these are not me. I don't know who these are. Oh my gosh, look! Oh, that's not Julie. That's somebody else. Never mind. I thought that was Julie. Um, let's see. See, more of these. Tons of these. What else? Um, this is a picture of my Uncle Dave, who is my dad's brother, and I don't get to see him often at all. And we did, like, a huge music night last time he came. And he is the most brilliant musician musician on planet Earth. I'm not just saying that because I'm biased. He's actually brilliant. Like, he's not very social. Like, I, 
not in a bad way, but I think that he's on the autism scale or something, but he's brilliant. Like he has no social school skills, but he's brilliant as a musician. He writes, he, he makes stuff up. He can, he can play anything on the spot for you. Like we had a huge music night last year when he came to visit and I told him that I wanted to sing. I dreamed a dream footage. Did I, I wanted to sing. I dreamed a dream and he didn't know it. And he's like, just start singing and I'll follow you. So I start singing and he just started following and he did it and he figured it out in one verse and then the rest of the song was incredible. Like it was crazy. He just, uh, anyway, my uncle Dave is a very special person in my life and I don't get to see him often. Um, here's a picture of us and my parents at our wedding. You guys have seen wedding pictures though, so I'll try and skip over that. I'm trying to find a good story in here. Oh, this is Alexis and Angela. This is Alexis who's just barely even born. My little firstborn. Oh, I love her so much. This looks like maybe my mom's birthday, I think. And this is a good representation of my entire childhood. I did not leave her side. I, I told you guys, as a child, I was attached to my mother at the hip, literally, all the time. Anytime I could be. Like, I don't have to even be sitting that close, but, like, I had to be. I had to be attached to her at all times. Love my mama. I'm a mama's girl for sure. Oh, this is racist. I feel like I've shown this in in an Instagram live a long time ago, so just be warned this is racist. Totally, I, like, I feel terrible. Maybe I shouldn't even show it. Basically, we, it's a daddy-daughter, so it's my dad and me. And it was for a daddy-daughter dance that they themed cowboys and Indians. So they asked us to either dress up as cowboys or Indians. We dressed up as Indians. And back then, nobody cared. Nobody thought twice about it. But these days, it is very, very racist. Let's just say that... Um, sh should I show it? I don't know. Seriously, no. Oh, every autistic person I've ever met is brilliant. I agree, Jess. Every single one. Every one of them. Brilliant minds. No, should I not show it? Should we take a vote? I'll look for another one while you guys vote. Um, let's see. Okay, a lot of these are not with me. I don't know who these are. I don't know who these people are. Why do I have pictures of people that I don't know? Oh, here's one of my birthdays. See, my mom would just make me the most beautiful cakes and would make me feel so special. Oh, I wonder what year that was. I feel like it was 10. Oh, I could count the candles. Hold on. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That can't be right. Oh, yeah, I guess it is. Oh, I was 12. Huh. Okay. Um... No. Oh yeah, people might get pissed. Okay, well, we just stupidly colored our faces a color that is not, I don't know what we were thinking. I'm, I'm actually kind of pissed at my dad for like not even thinking of that. I was, I was young. I wasn't even aware of that kind of thing in the little bubble that I grew up in. I wish I would have been because I absolutely would have said something. Um, this is my best friend Mouse. This is me at my, uh, my seminary graduation. Focus. Why would it focus? Um, seminary is basically, so a lot of, a lot of schools in Utah have this because most people around here have yes. And so, um, we had this thing called seminary where it was, it was an extra, I think maybe you could use it towards credits. I don't know, but um, it's just a one of those, what is it called? The extra classes you take, what is it called? Anyway, you can choose to do that and it's basically church, pretty much, not really. It's a teacher, it's like a, a class at church or something is what it is, I don't know. AP, no, electives, that's what it is. Thank you, Kendra, electives. 
So, and I almost didn't graduate. They told me I wouldn't graduate seminary. And that to me was more important than graduating high school at the time. And so the, the dude pulled me out and he's like, Hey, you can't graduate seminary. I'm sorry. This is when I was a senior. And he was like, I'm sorry, you're not gonna be able to graduate. And I was like, yes, I am. And he's like, no, sweetie, you're behind like 90 credits. There's no way you can do it by then. And I was like, yes, I can. You watch me. I'll do it. Just watch. And so luckily I was being homeschooled for almost all of my classes on my senior year because I was so behind from other stuff. So I was homeschooled, which means that I had the free time to go to six classes a day, every period. There were six periods in the day and I went every single time to seminary. So basically I was the holiest that I had ever been and like six hours a day of nothing but learning about the gospel and stuff. It was amazing. And I did graduate. So <laughs> I did it. It was hard, but I did it. And I was way more proud of that. Oh, this is a fun one. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is Liz, my sister, and that's Danny. And this is when they were dating. Oh. Anyway, I think I've told you guys this tradition when we were growing up, we would kidnap each other and put embarrassing signs in the morning and take and go out for breakfast. So, yeah. Put my hand behind. What are you talking about? Behind what? I know what you're talking about. Oh, that's how it focuses. Oh. No, it doesn't. Okay, maybe it does. Anyway, so. Those are always fun to look at. That's what I see. Oh, this was fun. I barely see. I don't think the hand works thing works on this. Anyway, that's me. That's a boy. His name was Nathan, and he was a sweetheart. And my friend Triana, who I share a birthday with, this is her house, and she wanted to do like a huge fancy like get dressed up in your prom dress for no reason other than to come to this fancy dinner so she set it up with like six couples I think and she like put gifts on the table as you can see you can't see much else but anyway that's Nathan and that's the boy that I was obsessed with in my senior year he was a junior I was a senior and he is such a good guy he was he was one of the guys he was never my boyfriend I think we held hands once or twice but um, he was never my boyfriend, but we did like each other, but it didn't really go anywhere because that's kind of how it is in our world because most boys go on a mission after their high school and so a lot of them don't want to get into a super serious relationship until after they get back from their mission. So, but he always treated me really kindly and, it, and that's rare. A lot, a lot of the boys from my past suck and he was really nice. And he was really good friends with Jameson, which is the guy that I dated after this. And Jameson's the one that introduced me to Danny. So it all goes full circle. This is me on my birthday getting a really ugly dress. I remember getting it and I hated it. Don't tell my mom. Mom doesn't watch these, so don't tell her. Where's my ear? Oh. Let's see. Oh, oh, look. Oh, he's such a baby lip. This is Danny. And he's holding Kaylee that you guys know. Kaylee's all grown up now. Why don't you just focus, dude? You have to get like really close. Okay, that's not gonna work, but look at Danny. What the heck? Barely looks like him. Little oh, baby Danny. Mm. This is in high school when I had a perm. And I don't know why I'm holding a banana. Um, a lot of these are not of me. I don't know who these people are. Some of them. Some I do. Oh, look, this is where we're going tonight. 
I bet this was for my birthday. That's where we're going tonight. What time is it? Did someone set an alarm for me? Anybody? I'm afraid I'm going to forget. Guys, I'm going to meet later, not today, to tell you about my mouth. <laughs> More things about my mouth and my jaw and my hips. I might need to tell you that tonight on the live tonight. Um, do you guys think I should vlog today? I guess I could have done that. Let me start a vlog just in case I decide to keep going with it. You guys would like it, I'm sure, but... Hi, Shani Fannies! Welcome to Katie Shani! I'm Shani and it's my birthday! Yay! And I'm doing a live stream. This is the aftermath of a huge... It's trashed in here because there's presents and boxes and wrappings everywhere. But we just did our P.O. Box opening live stream. We're still doing it. So everyone say hi. Is that going to work? Wait. I don't know how to make it work. I don't know what I'm doing. Anyway, we're doing a live stream here. And um, I'm going to go to dinner in a little bit with my family. So I just thought that maybe I would vlog. So we'll see. So anyway, so that's what's happening. I got a lot of really fun stuff. Um, I'll actually show you. I'm going to go finish my last dinner. Okay, bye. Okay, I'm really awkward. It's weird to vlog in front of you. I'll just record just in case. But if I think it's boring footage, I'm not gonna upload it. What's not gonna work? What are you talking about? Ugh. My body is unhappy. Um, yeah, 4.45, but I don't remember if I, didn't I ask, uh, excuse me, people to, I've got time. Is someone keeping track? Oh, Kendra. Oh, you have 20 minutes left and I'm dreading it. Oh, Kendra. That's so sweet. I'll be back tonight on Instagram. So, and I'm guessing most likely I'll go live at I would say maybe 10-ish my time. That's my guess. So, 10 p.m. For me, it's 4.30 right now. So, four and a half hours, five and a half hours? Wow. Five and a half hours from now is probably when I'll go live. Yeah, follow me, Kendra, because I go live every night. Girl, you're missing out. Come and join and get to know all the peoples of the times and the places. And five and a half. Thank you, Jason. Okay, let's see if we can find some more pictures. A lot of these are not of me, so I don't know why I have them. Uh, this is me, I think I was nine. Um, and we would very often, this is another, we would go up the canyon, ride our bikes up the canyon, do some hiking and roast marshmallows and hot dogs and stuff. Like we really did have some good times. This was one of them I remember. And I remember, vividly remember being self-conscious that this that it didn't have sleeves on it, the shirt that I'm wearing, and that my shorts showed like how fat my legs were. I remember that. And that is so sad. Now looking back, I'm just like, what is what a sad childhood to be that I was even thinking of that. I should have just been thinking of, oh, I'm here with my family, this is fun. We're having fun bike riding and bonfire and, and roasting marshmallows and laughing together. And But no, that's not what I was thinking about. I was constantly thinking about my body and how much I hated it, which is really sad. So I will, if I ever have children, I'll make sure that, that that's not, I will, I'll never talk badly about my body in front of them. Um, okay, what else? Battery's dying. Okay, we need to plug in the battery. Hold on, hold on. Did we bring it in here? Yes, I did. Okay, let me plug this charger.
it's charging. How do I tell from here? Um, this is us at our wedding. This is right before it was when we were feeding each other the cake. And he did it to me really kindly when it was my turn. All my friends and family were like, smash it in his face, smash it, smash it. And so this is me whispering to him, I'm so sorry, right before I did it. So I'm whispering, I'm so sorry for this. And then I just smashed the cake in his face. And there should be another picture somewhere because he, he then just like grabbed me by the face and just smushed, like kissed me and smushed everything around my face too. So it was a really fun memory. Um... See. Does anyone have any questions that have come up from my childhood or anything? From or from any pictures I've shown you? Because I don't think there's any more on this pile of me. No, there's not. Or I could go get more. What do you guys want to say? What do you want to do? Yeah, it's it's awful and it sucks that. I, if my mom had known, honestly, if she had known that that's what I was thinking all the time, I know she would have done something about it and she would have, um, but she grew up in a way, she, she grew up where, um, body talk was very prominent in her life and also she grew up with, or she was married to someone who liked her to be thin and so I grew up seeing my mom complain about her body all the time and I know that had she known the effect of it she wouldn't have done that and that's why I speak up about it like she apologized and apologized and she doesn't need to she didn't know better but that's my point is that the world doesn't know better and people need to know what not to do you know thank you to sell back then how are you now um now honestly i am loving my body because for what it is is it pausing are we good i think we're good um i think we're good i i truly am starting to love my back I think we're back I'll try not to touch it again are we back I think we're good okay I forget what I was saying but oh my mom like I know so hard um, that if she would have known she would have done it differently and she really appreciates that I'm out there trying to educate other moms and stuff cuz she grew up in a very different time and just happened to body always mattered through everything she went through since her childhood. So, um, yeah. So like, I don't know. I love my mom though. She's an incredible human. Um, oh, that's right. Thank you, Jason. I'm starting to love my body because um, because of what it's been through and what it's survived. And there are times, I'm not going to lie, where I look in the mirror and I love my body. Most of, like, let me say that again. There are times I look in the mirror and think I look attractive. Um, a lot more than there used to be. And there are still times, a lot of times that I look in the mirror and I don't feel attractive. However, I love my body. Like, I, because if you think about it, I and you and everyone only has one body. Like, that's it. That's it. Where are those pictures? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Do this one. Like, I'm in the same body now that I was here and it blows my mind about that because it's like I look at my body here and I recognize my body but it was different it was 
first of all, I was really tan as a kid. Um, and I had no wrinkles, no hair yet or anything. Um, but that's like the same body that I've been in for 36 years. That's crazy. You've had the exact same body, the same body that has gone through everything in your life that has lived for as many days as you've lived. It's the exact same body that has grown. And I really started to learn to appreciate that because there are so many people out there that don't have a body that functions. My body, even though I'm very sick with other with lots of health problems, my body pretty much functions in every way that you would need. Um, so my hands work, my arms, my legs, my feet, everything works, my brain works, I have all of my organs, I have all of my face, like I have everything. And I guess I've just, over the past little bit, getting better from my eating disorder, it's kind of made me look back on my life and I don't know, it's like, what else can I do? I mean, there's nothing else I can do. I, I can just give up and be like, oh, my body's destroyed anyway, so who cares? But, or I can just be like, you know, my body's been through a lot. It's survived a lot. I've survived a lot. And for that alone, I love my body and I'm grateful for it. Yes, I am still very blessed. I'm very blessed. We all are. I don't know. I guess just I've kind of had to learn to appreciate my, my body for the sake of my recovery, I guess. You know what I mean? But that doesn't necessarily mean I think I look beautiful or I think my body is attractive. But there are days where I do. Uh, I even there, there have been maybe three days total, but that's something where I've looked at myself in the mirror completely naked and thought, oh, I'm attractive because of what I've been through. I don't know. I just looked attractive those three times and that was it. So I know it's possible. Anyway, did that answer your question? I don't remember what the question was, but anyway. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, yeah, Jason. Are you a therapist? Look at you. You're very close to your mom, it sounds like. Um, when that is the case, you internalize their weaknesses, but they are side flaws, uh-huh, insecurities, and not accurate. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's exactly what it is. I'm not only my self-esteem have I gotten from my mom, but also everything. I am her, I am like her twin. Um, I'm exactly like her in almost every way down to like the foods that we like and down to decorating it, you know, and Christmas and what am I saying right now? What's happening? Music. And we just think the same. She's also a very empathetic person, very sensitive. Um, but there's one thing about her, maybe I am starting to gain this is that she's gotten a lot stronger since she married Rob. Um, because when she was married to my dad, she was, she was the best mom in the world, but she herself was not happy. And it was very clear to me. Um, so that was hard to watch that my favorite person in the whole world was so unhappy. That's what made the divorce kind of bittersweet. I don't know. What am I talking about? Why am I getting into all this? Um, I hope I get to the point that my husband loves my body so it helps. It really does help, doesn't it? I just don't like codependency. Yeah, like Danny, five minute warning, thank you. Danny um, adores my body. I've never heard him say one, um, one bad thing about my body. Nothing negative has he ever said. It's always been positive and beautiful. Hi, Emily. Not a therapist, but was close to my mom and patient and a patient of therapy. Oh, okay, cool. Interesting. Yeah. That's so accurate what you said. Thank you, Abby. I'm so proud for how far you've come, Shani. Thank you, Abby. I really appreciate that. <laughs> Thanks, Emily. You're so sweet. Um, my boyfriend is the same. He says he loves me chunky or thin no matter what. Yeah, that's how Danny is. 
I don't know if I ever tell him like, you know, I have like huge hips or so many fat rolls. I have way too much meat on my body. He always is like, you know what? Men like meat. How's it go? Men like meat, some not bones or something like that. I don't know. Bones are beautiful too though. If you're bony, that's beautiful too. How does he say it? Maybe he just says it generally for himself. Like, I like... Oh, that's what he says. He says, I like meat, dogs like bones. That's what he said to me. I like meat, dogs like bones. So, he's really sweet. Thank you. I got them at Walmart, actually. And they're doubled up, just so you know. There's usually, like, more space in between each strand. So, I doubled them, just so you know. It doesn't really show up very well with just the singles. So yeah, so that's, and they were, I think $20, I think. And I got four, five, wait. I think I got five sets of them and they're amazing. I love them. And they're gonna be up all around the year now cause they'll go with anything. Yay. My hair is extra stunning. It's so dirty and frizzy. I don't even care. I was gonna rewave it, but then I was like, eh, who cares? Nobody cares. You can't tell? Well, that's good. That's a plus. Because I'm about to go out in public. Do I not do it anymore? Yeah, I remember doing the tongue thing a lot. Do I not do it anymore? Oh, thanks, Kayla. You're pretty too. Thank you. That's sweet. Jason I can get away with it cuz the only people I talk to are on a camera besides my husband so. before I had my teeth out I swear I've done it since then don't I still do it when I taste things maybe not I don't know Oh, it was when I did. I see what you're saying. Okay. You know, I don't eat the pickles usually because they're too spicy for my mouth. Acidic, which feels spicy. They're too acidic for my mouth, but when I can, I do. But I just love the juice of this particular brand and this particular cut. But if my mouth is not sore, I love pickles. But mostly, I usually can't, so I just drink the juice. Which is a huge worth it because pickle juice makes me... Cause I have like really, really low blood pressure. So, I mean, I've always drank this, but at the hospital, they're like, you need to be drinking and eating tons of sodium. And I'm like, got to My grandpa would always tell us growing up that if you drink pickle juice, you would get chest hair. And he's right. Me and my sister are the only two that drink it, and we both got chest hairs. Only like four total, but still. I miss my grandpa. I don't want puckles. Pickles. I like puckles. Let's call them puckles now. That's cute. I want a puckle. Holy puckle. That could be like a new curse word. What the puck? Holy puckle. What a puckle. Ew, what a puckle. <laughs> like hockey pups. Pups? Pucks. Yes. Oh, that's awesome, Chloe. You're wonderful, and I love you too, and I'm proud of you. That's wonderful. 
it's worth it, girl. And I'm not even all the way there yet. Like, it's worth it in a lot of ways mentally. For me, the physical hasn't caught up, but it will. But mentally, it's really worth it. I gotta go. What time is it? Yeah, I gotta go. Well, I'll be back in a few hours on Instagram if you want to come and join. Thank you again so much to Steph and Jesse and Casey and uh, 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 um, um, Livy and Al. Who was that? Hold on. Now I forgot everybody. Uh, um, 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 you all know who you are. Thank you so much <laughs> for the gifts. That was so, so much fun. Um, I haven't done one of these in a couple of years, so that was really, really fun. So thank you. And um, thanks again, Casey, for the Vegemite. I will give you, be giving that to my stepdad because he likes weird things like that. But thanks for the thought, sort of. I love you guys, and I'll see you later. Thank you for the birthday wishes. I love you, and I'll see you tonight. Remember forever and always that you're beautiful, you're worth it, and I am too. Okay, love you guys.